here. <laughs> What's going on? Today I'm going to talk about a few different topics that have to do with licensed mental health counseling and different things that I've been learning and things about the next semester. So just kind of like a um, catch up video all about grad school and all the fun stuff. So before I get started, check me out on Instagram at Katie Counseling. I share a bunch of stuff there. I'm really excited about that platform because I just started it just, you know, just to have it and to connect with different professionals in this field, but it's actually forming its own identity and it's really exciting. So again, that's KD Counseling on Instagram. All right, guys, so here I am again in the school line waiting. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of time. I promise you, I promise you guys, I'm gonna do a few videos at my house, probably in the new year, because December has been really overwhelming. And that's the first thing that I want to say is I planned on doing this whole vlog mess and recording every day and it just hasn't worked out. And honestly, a part of it is because I don't have a vlog camera. It's not the same doing it with your phone. I feel like the phone's always like here and like you're seeing the bottom of my chin half the time. Um, I don't have like the attachment for the phone. Um, I don't have like the flip screen. I'm working on getting the camera and I think that's when I can really optimize my vision and how I want to do it. And I think there's always a place and time for everything so I don't want to rush what I want to you know, do of the appropriate way. Until then, this is what I'm doing and this is what works for me and I feel like I'm reaching a lot of you guys out there and I really greatly appreciate like the personal DMs that I get and the questions and how many people have been actually able to like, you know, help and, you know, help them just figure out simple questions that unless they were in the field or in school already would have a harder time finding the information so i'm super happy like honestly the other day i was thinking i was like you know again like when i started this i just started it just to have like an instagram that's you know for katie counseling to so i can see different accounts but it really became like a place where i find really cool resources i like categorize them and um i have like those little bubbles I love them I have like a trauma one I have one for uh, motherhood I have one for anxiety I have one for the books that I read and use for school I have all the tech that I use and it's such a great platform to really share everything so if you're looking for a specific thing you can either you know see the video here or go on YouTube see other creators talk about it or you know go on Instagram and you know, even from those posts connect to like people that are already licensed, that are professionals, because most of the resources that I share is from like counselors or psychologists or psychiatrists. And I don't know, I love it, it's so cool. And I'm learning a lot along the way. And you know, since I'm not licensed yet, I'm just learning from everybody and I'm seeing how different people, you know, share this knowledge and it really opens up my eyes and I've, again, connected to some great people that are so kind, that are on this journey, that are applying, that are getting accepted to school, that are, you know, just asking about, you know, acceptance letters and getting into places and I just, that, honestly, like, that makes me so happy and I know that sounds like really you know it really does because I feel like in a, the tiniest of ways I might have helped somebody and that's good for me so yeah I just wanted to say that the second thing that I wanted to bring up is I don't know oh yeah I was looking up this website for somebody I was talking to and it was the Florida licensed mental health counseling uh, website and I made that cake crepe video and I don't know if I mentioned this but yes by 2025 you will like have to be coming out of a cake crepe program or I, I I don't know if it's impossible might not be impossible but I think you might not be able to get your licensure without maybe other extra steps or other things that you'll have to do if it if your program is not cake crepe accredited check out your licensure like website in your state i'm in florida 
Uh, mine's like Florida licensed mental health counseling, a licensed family and marriage therapist and social work. I think it's all three of them. It's the website for the credentials for all three of them. And it says by 2025, KCREP accredited. Check it out in your state if you're not in Florida, but that's, I think that's why I was like, yes, KCREP is so important. A lot of people comment um, and ask me like, oh, why KCREP? What's the big deal? But I think that's how my teachers explain it to me. Like you really need to have this kind of schooling or this kind of program because the licensure is gonna be harder. The insurance companies might have an issue with the accreditation and you know, so on and so forth as you, you know, keep going and when people are hiring you and you never, you never know the preference. Oops, oh, sorry, my glasses fell. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is I was talking to a subscriber and they were asking about international students and um, they were asking if I knew anything about that and the one thing that I honestly think is if you want to be licensed like in the United States and then depending on what state you're in I think you do have to have a green card or a, a citizenship I don't know I'm actually gonna do some research on this but I think you do because each state has their own, you know, accreditation body and I'm pretty sure you have to be a permanent resident or a U.S. citizen to be able to get these credentials. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on that because I did have an international student reach out to me and they were looking into this and it's, uh, it's interesting. I need to know if they are able to do it or not. But I honestly think it's either or. I think that's what I've seen before in a, like, um, in the intro class, intro to clinical mental health counseling class. I think that's, that was one of the things that we learned. I wanted to talk about, a little bit about, like, how classes have been going. Because it's been kind of a lot. And it's expected. And most of the time, I'm really, um, I get a lot of questions about like, how long does it really take you to do your work? And the answer is, every week is so different. Let's say, um, you know, right now is the end of most of the classes. And usually that's when our papers are due, when our projects are due, when everything is just kind of, you know, I'll give you an example. So the week before, uh, we had this big project due and it was part one was due the first week, part two was due the second week. But if you didn't do part one properly, you can't do part two. So it was like two weeks of like heavy duty work. Uh, for one of the classes, we did like a biopsychosocial on a client. Again, they give us a case and we do a you know, I had to do a mental mental um, health exam, which is like an um, assessment to see if the person's okay, like how they're functioning cognitively. Then um, the client that I had had substance abuse problems, so I had to give them um, the MAT, uh, which is like an assessment for substance abuse. And then you have to just get all their information for the biopsychosocial, like family history, their personal history, how they're feeling, do they have employment, um, when they were born, where they were born, how they're feeling. And depending on their answers, you can give them different testings, like within the evaluation to get more information about where they're at and what type of diagnosis they may need and you refer them to psychiatrists, you refer them to types of therapy, you conceptualize what type of path you wanna take with them, you talk about what type of um, therapy you're gonna do, if you're gonna do cognitive behavioral therapy, if you're gonna do DBT, if you're gonna, you think they need like, I don't know, exposure, th I mean, you name it. Depending on what it is, there are like core things. So this was substance abuse, you know, it was like um, NA, like it was, for, you know, AA and NA. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on YouTube, but so there's different steps for like substance abuse. You'll send them to those programs 
and it's just everything you would do step by step and you have long-term goals and you have short-term goals um, and then you have um, yeah so that's that's a biopsychosocial it's literally like everything it's a lot it's different assessments and it's what you learn from the assessments and you have to um, assess for different risks um, yeah so it's amazing and once you learn how to do it it's a lot easier but like I just told you guys like all of that and you have to get kind of like the right diagnosis and you have to explain why that's the right diagnosis and every treatment you choose you have to explain why that's the right treatment so like it's really getting you ready to be a professional which is great so I had two weeks like that and that was just one class and the other class had the same thing but from like a different um uh, what is it called? It was a different client. We had to do like an in-person interview and all this other stuff. So it was two of these in two classes in like essentially a 14 day period all at the same time. So that week was crazy. That week was every day I'm doing something late at night, um, getting information, um, you know, everything has to be, um, cited everything has to be from you know like the dsm or from different research or uh, articles from academic journals or from the resources that your professors provide you so it's great i really 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 learned a lot this semester and i'm excited that i'm gonna get a week off in january <laughs> and then i'm gonna start another semester I've got three classes i'm gonna do a video on that i'm gonna tell you what the classes are and then i should start I think I can start my first, I don't think it's an, in, is it an internship? I think in May I can start my first internship or it's the, it's the, it's not a residency, residency's in April, but it's the class where you work with like a teacher, but I think that's a part of residency. I don't know, I'll find out. So yeah, exciting things are happening. So I got this one semester, I got residency in April. And then once I have 24 credits, I can start interning. Yeah, I am so excited. You guys are gonna have to like help me pick out what internship site I should pick. I'm gonna get a list of them and I'll probably do some questions over on Instagram to see what you guys think. So I'm gonna leave that there today. You guys have a wonderful day. Practice a lot of self-care during the holidays. Practice a lot of self-care in the new year. Strive for goals that are attainable and realistic. Definitely dream on, but take care of yourself. Okay? Be kind to yourself. Follow me on Instagram at Katie Counseling, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.